Hello again everyone, Craig here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough we're going to be checking out the newest upgrade in our Iron Pack series, Iron Pack 2 Turkish Guitar. Iron Pack 2 Turkish Guitar was made using recordings crafted from our acoustic Zaz library, and at just 370 megabytes, this handy kit offers 11 atmospheric pads and mutated acoustic Zaz string pluck tones. Plus a simplistic acoustic Zaz patch to give you a small and fully playable preview of our acoustic Zaz and electric Zaz libraries. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and start checking out all of the sounds and features within the new Iron Pack 2 Turkish Guitar upgrade. So what you just heard was the default patch that comes loaded with Iron Pack 2 Turkish Guitar. And there's two different layers that you can use for the Turkish Guitar. So if we go over here, you'll see that you have layer 1 and layer 2, and both of these have the acoustic Zaz. So you could load this up, and then you could do some different things like panning them or doing some different pitch type stuff. So if you wanted to layer these together, you can go ahead and go to layer 2, and then you can even play around with the different pitch and tuning. And then if you wanna do a little bit of sound design, you can go up here to the advanced tab and here you have some LFO filtering and arpeggiation. So I have layer two turned off for now and then you can just turn on the arpeggiator. And then you have a few different controls to choose. So you have normal, hold, gliss, and strum. So if we wanna do gliss, we can go ahead and enable that. And you can get these sort of different gliss types. And then there's also some different presets for these as well. And then you also have some different banks down here. You have some arps, glisses, and strums. So let's just go ahead and bring it back to ARPS. So then if you want to start taking this instrument and applying some different effects to it, all you have to do is go over here to the effects rack right down here and you'll see that you have these different slots and here you can load up different effects as well so if you click this drop down you'll see a list of all the different effects that you have offered to you and then if you want to just load up a reverb we have one loaded up right here this is a large room so let's go ahead and uh, listen how this sounds <laughs> So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to turn off the arpeggiator and just be able to play in the different uh, sounds myself. So right now that was the, uh, the large room. But if you want to play around with some of the different types, you can click this right here and you'll see you have cathedral, chamber. Let's try the chamber and see how this sounds. Let's go ahead and check out some of these different impulses. So we got this chamber long C, let's try that. Now let's try a different one, let's try this one right here.
really has a different sound and can really help you find that perfect space for the sound that you want to place it in your mix. And then if you want to take this instrument and make it a little bit more atmospheric, you can go into this drop down right here and add a delay. I always like to set the pan all the way up because it really takes the sound and gives it this really cool spatial vibe. So now let's go ahead and play this same thing again with the delay. Let's go ahead and uh, play around with the rate. Let's turn this down a little bit. And then you can also change this to sync. You can play around with the mix. Let's go ahead and turn the mix up just a little bit more. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the reverb on, and the next thing that we're gonna look at is the different ambiences that come with the library. There's 11 atmospheric pads and drones for you to use, and these are all crafted off the different sounds of the library. So let's go ahead and play through a few of these now. The next thing I want to mention is that with the ambiences, there's two different layers that you can use to combine some of these different ambiences as well. So I'm going to go ahead and find some that I really like. So this one's a really nice, just ambient one. So let's just go over here, turn this on. I'm going to set this to ambience. And now you have two different ones playing together. Let's see another one that we can layer up. One thing I want to do is show you the X fade and what you can do is learn this to your mod wheel or any other controller that you have for MIDI. And I'm going to go ahead and set Ambisynth 2 to layer B and then I'm going to set Ambisynth 1 to layer A. 
And what we're gonna do is crossfade between these two. You can set it to where you keep the same sound of one layer and fade into another so they both play together, or you can have them just fade in just one into the other and really use this as a way of adding some different modulation to your track or getting a little bit more movement without having to use too many instances of the library. So let's go ahead and play with this. So you can play around with the X fade assign to get some different types of effects. So if you want to have this sound always playing and then have that other ambience fade in, you can do that too. So I'm going to go ahead and keep Ambisynth 1 to none, and then I'm going to keep this to layer B. So let's hear how that sounds now. So you have the ability to layer these up and get some really interesting sonic combinations. So the other thing that we did for this upgrade is we created 20 custom effects presets using all the different features within the library, all the different effects, advanced tab features like the LFO filter and arpeggiator, and many others. So let's just go ahead and play through a few of these to give you an idea of what you get when you're just exploring the different features of the library. Well, that about wraps up this walkthrough for Iron Pack 2 Turkish Guitar. If you'd like to learn more about this library or any of the other Iron Packs that we offer, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on future videos like these, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.